Hello, welcome back. I've got to start and say thank you to Ollie Wiz for sending me these pair of radios to review on today's show. Um, these came through super fast as they were delivered by Amazon here in the UK. I'll pop a link to where you can get a pair of these radios uh, for yourself uh, below in the description. Uh, this particular model is PMR446, but don't switch off just yet because I'm going to show you how you can actually open these up to get a bit more out of them. And usually this radio was supplied with a nice glossy booklet showing you all the other radios that are in the range. It claims to have a, an output of, of half a watt and two watts and a frequency range of uh, 400 to 4, 406 to 470 megahertz with a weight of 170 grams. It offers CTCSS and DCS squelch. Um, and it has side programmable buttons there and your standard Kenwood microphone earpiece programming socket and it works as you would expect with all handsets and headsets that uh, meet that spec. Now obviously uh, this is a budget radio and they're budget pair of radios um, fashioned after the BF888. Um, this one comes in around the same sort of price and the, the same sort of quality I'll be honest. Um, it seems very similar uh, to the to the eight, but I think um, having tested the radio now while I'm doing this voiceover, I think it, it does actually offer better voice quality and better uh, range and capabilities than those radios. So it's definitely worth watching on this video. Don't just dismiss it because uh, of the title of PMR four four six. Um, inclusive screwdriver there. First time I've seen that for the putting on the uh, the belt the belt clips. So uh, that was a nice touch and uh, the battery seems fairly secure and uh, we'll clip it in, we'll turn it on, you can just have a little listen. zooming out we can see exactly what you get in the box there minus all the leaflets and the other stuff that they send uh, I can say these are USB powered radios no death adapters required for these just simply plug into a USB socket now these particular radios were almost fully charged so it didn't take very long to charge up uh, as they were topping off I decided to measure the current and there you can see it's 0.28 of an amp um, but the, the battery was fairly near to being full there so the supplied screwdriver there can be very useful to quickly uh, change them over. And a little tip, if you struggle to get these clips on on all these radios, simply remove the battery. It makes things much easier. Uh, there's a little top tip for you. So without even plugging these in, I decided just to switch on the frequency counter and just to see where these were. Because at the time, I didn't know these were PMR radios. And sure enough, as soon as I turned them on, I started to think, hmm, these are uh, on the PMR channels because uh, um, Ollie Woods hadn't actually said that and of course then when I tried to unscrew the antenna to do the power test I realized that the antennas were fixed so I contacted Ollie Wiz and they did say yes these were PMR radios but they wanted to show how these radios could be programmed so what I did was I, uh, I got the FTDI cable out and went onto the Ollie Wiz website here and picked up the software now the software that you need to download to program these is for the 826 the chipset is exactly the same the same and the programming steps for this are actually they actually are produced a really nice PDF file that comes down with the software I mean I'm going to quickly go through how you do this but really it's all in there so if you want to fast forward through the programming bit I fully understand that because there's a bit more fun to come uh, my usual range testing and whatnot but here's the program inside so once you've installed the software it's very very easy and you've got your FTDI cable or your uh, pro, your prolific cable plugged in simply um, connect, it, connect it up, turn the radio on and download and that was in real time, it's fairly nippy download and as you can see here the full 16 channels there have been pre um, have been pre-programmed onto a uh, narrow uh, channel bandwidth allocation and low power now um, they reliably inform me that low power is um, half a watt on these radios so I'm going to trust that it is but as you can see here the um, they don't actually meet the criteria of 446 to the letter of the law because this shouldn't be possible to do this uh, to PMR 446 radios so um, I think they would probably get away with it um, possibly um, but um, 
the, the you know the, the, the has a, the, the extra options here which you, you see on a lot of these uh, these cheaper radios you get this on the triple eight as well with your timeout timers your mic sensitivity this has the scrambler activation which will just be a simple voice inversion uh, acti activated scrambler uh, and the box which I don't think anyone bothers with this also does have the key assignments on the side which I set mine to scan and then want to drop the squelch um, which you can do but there are other things you can do on there uh, again quite a useful feature and then it's got PTTID tones as well which you can set again something many people don't really bother with so um, you know for, for a budget radio there's some quite nice features there and this software didn't have any problems with malware or viruses or anything on this so I simply programmed in a set of test frequencies away from the PMR channel so I wasn't going to do anything naughty and I put in um, a couple of frequencies there where I could do some testing on the lower power setting and some testing on the high power setting so I set channel 15 for low power on wide and trust me wide isn't that wide at all we're not going to be over deviating um, 433 and 525 put it uh, in there for the channel 16 which is going to be on low power and wide again so um, the Chinese version of wide is not that wide it's about 6.25 uh, so it's it's really not that wide so um, I pop these in we're going to go out to site in the car and we're going uh, while well, we still can <laughs> and uh, we're going to see how these radios perform so sit tight uh, grab a drink and keep watching well, it might seem a little crazy to be going out today doing this sort of thing uh, with what's going on in the world but um, at the moment there's no lockdowns or any issues with regard to going out in the public at the moment so I thought I'd take advantage of the nice weather and get out there and do a bit of a range test um, I possibly might not be able to do it for a while so um, I thought I'd take advantage of doing that now I'm not going to be coming into contact with anybody I'm not going to be uh, anywhere near anyone else um, so uh, and we'll make this short and sweet and uh, it's not like I've got to go to the filling station and get petrol is it it's an electric car right see you at the site two seconds nice Tesla Model X there some money around here somewhere um, yeah, so I'm at site. Uh, it's a really nice day, really lovely. It's a bit cool, but it's bright and sunny, and it's it's quite quite mild really. Um, it's disappointing to see, and I don't know if you guys suffer from this, but fly tipping. The two locations I use here, I've got litter strewn everywhere in the gateways. People are dumping rubbish. It's really quite bad. So. Um, and bizarrely, checking the rubbish, I found out it was actually radio equipment, a Tate T198. Really old uh, radio from New Zealand there, just dumped out in the open with coax and a uh, mag mount. Very sad. Right, I'm here with the uh, Oli Wiz at uh, location A, three miles, and we're on uh, high power. G7 LNK portable with the Oli Wiz at uh, location A, approximately three miles on high power. Testing one two three four five five four three two one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, we're switching to low power, which is sixteen. Sixteen. This is G seven LNK portable. G seven LNK portable with the. This is G seven LNK portable. G seven LNK portable with the Odi Wiz at location A, approximately three miles. Testing on low power, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, and for reference, we'll just try with the uh, UV 5X. Right, the 5X is on high power, so roughly three and a half, four watts, something like that. Um, not really a fully charged battery on this at the moment, I don't think. This is G7 LNK portable. G7 LNK portable. Uh, location A. This is G7 LNK portable. G7 LNK portable. Uh, at location A, approximately three miles with the UV5X. Testing 12345 I mentioned it on the last video. One of the downsides of this location is the cellular um, access for the controls on any desk or team viewer or, or the, whatever remote software you're using. Are shockingly bad it's a really poor area but 
hopefully it's a lot better at the the other location so um uh, I, I checked on the phone and the signals were definitely getting through okay from the radio so we should be okay um we'll, we will do a radio to radio test as well as we've got the two radios um because these radios are sold primarily as 446 radios uh, but as you uh, have, um, you'll uh, see you know they can be opened up I don't know if I'm going to show it before you after you see this I don't know <laughs> we'll see anyway but it can be opened up as the title of the uh, video suggests so okay let's go to the other location and see what's going on let's stay the hell away from people and uh, have a bit of fun temporary traffic lights I wonder if uh, these things would be uh, interfered with badly programmed radios I'm betting they would you know ah, I wonder Well, much nicer day today, uh, really, really nice. So I'm um, uh, not going to be getting blown around too much. And I imagine sometimes they do uh, uh, parachute drops here, you know, like skydiving stuff. And uh, but I imagine that's all been cancelled. So um, should have the place to myself today. Let's go and see. Right, we're here with the Oli Wiz. It's a bit windy, but we'll give it a try. There's a car coming. We'll just wait for that car to fly past. Oh, the wind has really, really picked up. Listen to that. Okay. This is G7LAK Portable with the Oli Weirs at location B, approximately seven miles. Testing on UHF, power level high. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is G7LAK Portable with the Oli Weirs at location B, approximately seven miles. Testing on UHF, power level high, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. There we go. Let's try it on the low power setting. More cars going past. Right, this is low power. This is G7 LNK portable with the Oli Wiz at location B, approximately seven miles. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is G7 LNK portable with the Oli Wiz at location B, approximately seven miles. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is G7LNK Portable with the UV5X, UV5X at location B, testing UHF test in high power, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, I must thank uh, Oli Wiz um, for sending me these radios for a test. Um, they wanted, I think they wanted folks to know that um, they were mainly sold as PMR 446 radios. But if you did really want to and you were licensed, that's important, that you could actually uh, reprogram these and use them on, to, on uh, 70 SEMs, which is what we've just done there. Um, I mentioned it probably in the uh, review. There is a scramble feature on these. I haven't tried putting it on. I don't see there's really a lot of point in that. Um, it's a very similar radio to the BF888. If you've not already seen a video, my video on that, it's had nearly half a million views now. Go and have a look at that and see if they interest you. There's a slightly newer version of that radio out now. Um, but yeah, I think all in, this is uh, a, a really nice uh, set of radios for the money. They're available on Amazon, and like I say, they are sold as PMR 446, um, uh, you know, with a, a non-removable antenna, so, and they run at half a watt in, in that mode as well. Um, they're probably a bit, a bit cheeky with regard to that, uh, because they can be reprogrammed, uh, and that's, I know, something that's not strictly allowed. Uh, but um, you know if you do modify these um, I do stress that you, you put them on the proper frequencies and that you are licensed to use them in the country that you're using them in that's very important as we enter these uncertain times uh, because you transmitting out of band uh, might be affecting with vital vital uh, medical and or military or police or emergency service personnel equipment so if ever, the, ever there was a time to make sure you're on the right frequency, it's definitely now. And I'm always telling people that. 
um, because I know people are going to use these cheap radios and rather than be the fun police and tell everyone no I would just rather try and inform people that you must program these radios before you use them. These ones were fine, these ones were sold um, on the PMR frequencies so you're okay. Right, I'm going to wrap this up, uh, I'm going to get back to the shack, I've got loads more stuff to do, I've got two or three more reviews, I have some other radios to do and um, we've got the CB test but we're kind of having to put that on hold a bit because I want to get Mick to help me and, uh, and we don't want to be passing any germs or bugs on to Mick at this point in time. So hope you understand and appreciate that. I'm feeling well, I hope you're feeling well. Look after yourselves, it's really important that we all do that now. Stay safe, we'll see you on the next one, take care. Thanks ever so much again. It's been a really full day today, been very busy. Thanks again to Alice from Ollywiz for the radios and if you're interested in buying a set of these radios, please see the link in my description. Thanks again, take care, stay safe.